it's like now I feel like that, you know, what I did when I was 40 and that I can do stuff that, you know, I was thinking I was going to never get to do again. More than 30 years ago, Tom Stevens had a motorcycle accident. He was infected with hepatitis C during a blood transfusion. In recent years, his liver values kept getting worse. He was always tired and down in the dumps. His wife, June, had little hope. When you're right up towards the end and you're, they call it your viral load is how they measure what kind of damage the hep C is doing to you. I mean, you know that you're in big trouble. There's not like, well, I just don't feel well or something. No, you know that you're in a serious fight now. The 67-year-old was lucky. An acquaintance worked in the research division at Gilead, a biotech company. Stevens was able to participate in clinical tests for the new drug. Now he's healthy again, thanks to the Harvani treatment. One drug is revolutionizing the global market. It's both a curse and a blessing. This public clinic in Oakland treats people who have inadequate or no health insurance. Many patients are drug addicts. James Jensen was infected with hepatitis C when he was still a child, but it wasn't discovered until he was much older. He's placing all his hope in Harvani because other drugs don't work. I feel like I brutalized you. I know. <laughs> Diana Sylvester helped him fill out the insurance application forms, but they were rejected several times. I felt I was being thrown under the bus because I had done my side financially and also complying to the medications that I needed to take. And um, being left undone or being left alone and basically abandoned um, made me feel um, alone and hurt. Treatment with Harvani and Solvaldi, the other hepatitis drug made by Gilead, is very expensive. A treatment cycle of 8 to 12 weeks can cost up to $100,000. The World Health Organization estimates production costs at $150. It does seem to me that the new treatment is extremely expensive, and the impact of that has been that the insurers don't want to give it to us. So that's a big problem. But, you know, in all honesty, the treatment works so well that when we do get a patient through treatment, it seems like the cost is well worth it. That's how the people at Gilead's California headquarters see it, too. At the end of 2011, management announced a takeover. For $11 billion, Gilead acquired the small biotech company Pharmacet. It was an investment that was well worth it because Pharmacet had developed the active ingredients for the drugs. In the first year since it got approval to sell the drugs, Gilead's sales have skyrocketed, thanks largely to Sovaldi and Harvani. 2014 profits hit $12 billion. And Arvani has just been on the market since last fall. For the WHO, the drug represents a revolution in hepatitis treatment. That's why Gilead's chief science officer finds the criticism of the pricing unfounded. Our philosophy about pricing is we price in tiers. So those countries that are high on the economic development index, like Europe, United States, we price it higher. And those countries that are on the lower end, we price it much lower. For instance, Egypt, the, the total at one course of treatment, we priced it at $900, which is a fraction of what it costs in, in Europe and in, uh, in the US. The average annual income in Egypt is about 3,140 US dollars. 25% of the people there live below the poverty line. Nearly 15% of Egyptians are infected. Nowhere else in the world is hepatitis C so widespread. But even in the US, most patients can't afford the drugs. Together with the states, Medicaid funds health care for the poorest Americans. Around half of the 3.2 million people with hepatitis C receive this aid. The president of Medicaid talks about a tsunami of costs. 
States. It causes a real ethical challenge for the states and the plans that provide this health care coverage. States have to make very hard decisions about who should get access to this drug, and they have to make tough decisions about when they get access to the drug, which means all of the folks that are suffering from this disease have to get in queue. Some states are already spending a sixth of their budgets just for hepatitis C drugs made by Gilead. You know, it's a challenge. It's, you have to remember there are 160 million people worldwide infected with hepatitis C. And it's just not as easy to in one, two, three to make, to give it to 160 million people. But we hope over the next 10, 15 years that most of the people that need it have access to it. A seemingly infinite market with infinite profits for the manufacturer. And hepatitis C is just one disease. I think this is the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other products coming down the marketplace for Alzheimer's and cancer and cholesterol, all of which the plans and the states will have to manage. So this was a wake-up call to everybody that the pharmaceutical industry really does price, really at the extreme margin, once in a while on certain drugs when they can.